So here we are, Chad, we're at Kirkham Hot Springs and we've been talking this whole drive mm -hmm. about what the hell are we actually gonna do at Kirkham right. Hot Springs. Yeah. You go to Kirkham Hot Springs when? I go to Kirkham Hot Springs either when I'm heading to Stanley or I'm heading back to Boise from Stanley. This has never been a day trip for me. Yeah. This is always a fun stop on a road trip to somewhere else. Right. I do think it's a nice way to get out of the city mm -hmm. for a, a day trip. They're super easy to get to. They are on one of the most beautiful rivers in Idaho, the South Fork of the Payette River. Crystal clear, beautiful. So the whole experience is good. I would just make sure I had a really nice picnic plan. Um, there's also a short hiking trail that goes around here that you could take people on. The nice thing is, it doesn't cost anything to get in. One thing to note though is, always check the roads in winter, especially the road out of Idaho City. That summit can oftentimes get close. You can also camp here if you really wanted to. It's not my preferred camping method though. You're kind of in a parking lot. There are spots, it's cheap, it's easy to find. But for me, you know, right along the highway, in a parking lot, not really my ideal spot. Mm -hmm. I'm still heading up to Stanley to camp there. Well, right. should we go down? I feel like we have some people down here yeah. with some hot springs. All right, let's go check uh, it out. They're all clothed, which is good. I believe that they're passing around a J right now though. <laughs> so during the camping season, this campground is open and this road is open. And you can also just park over there. You don't have to camp here to get in. But in the off season now, winter time coming, they shut down the campground. So. Hot springs is open year round. Campgrounds close seasonally. We're just gonna walk a long walk of like maybe 150 yards over to the hot springs. Right here in the campground, the campgrounds right behind us here, is this lovely little mini pool. I'm gonna see how hot it is. That's one thing when you're out in hot springs, always test the water before you go full in, right? It's a nice pool though, it's got a nice sandy bottom. Looks like Sacagawea hot springs. It's a really nice temp. I'm just saying, if you're walking to the hot springs, I've always beelined it straight to the hot springs that are on the river, but this is a really, really nice pool. One of the things that I love about Kirkham especially is that there's a significant amount of these little streams and rivulets coming straight out of the rock up, up there and just the sound of that combined with the river going by and the sound of that. I mean, even if you didn't have a hot springs, the audible experience alone, very peaceful, very soothing. Even though the road's right there, you cannot hear it. And uh, so when you come up here, obviously being a swimsuit, no nudity, um, I would highly recommend, which John and I didn't do today, bring some flip flops, chacos, sandals, whatever. And even though the bathrooms are open now, I don't know if they're open all winter, and they smell horrible, so you wanna maybe have a way to change. I saw somebody down here had a robe. I think that would be a great idea. Soak, enjoy, and please bring canned beer or canned beverages because glass is not a good place to bring down here. subscribe to the channel for weekly adventures in Idaho and beyond. Follow us on social media. If you have any questions for us, we'd love to see it in the comment section below. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.